Hi guys, do you remember me? I'm Shamika. A tremendous number of folk tales are available all around the world. Today I'm going to tell you one of the most popular folk tales in Sri Lanka. It's Kaluvedana. A long, long time ago, there was a quite beautiful and huge uh, village. There lived a man called Gamarala. Was a so uh, was a so wealthy farmer. He lived in a, he lived in a quiet he lived in a so beautiful and huge house with his wife called Kaluhamini. Kaluhamini was a little mad. They had they had they had a really beautiful and young daughter called Kaluvetana. Unfortunately, Kaluvetana was dead a few years a, a few months ago. After after Kaluvetana's death, uh, Kaluvetana's friends didn't live happily. Kaluhamini started to cry always. Late about six months, uh, still. Still Kaluvetana still Kaluhamini cries. Gamarala did a, a Gamarala did a huge number of things to make his wife happy, but he was unable to do it. One day early in the morning, Gamarala went to his chena as usual. That day Kaluvetana Kaluhamini was at home alone. A few hours later, a beggar came a beggar came to Kaluhamini's house and he said, Gamahamini, Gamahamini, I went to the other world and came back. I am too tired. Please give me something to eat. I am uh, too tired and I am so hungry. Please give me something to eat. Kaluhamini was surprised and he stopped crying. He stopped crying and she asked uh, curiously, Son, did you get to the other world? At that moment, the beggar understood Kaluhamini is a little mad. He thinks to cheat to the and he thinks to cheat to Kaluhamini. He replied, "Yes, yes, I go to the other world." Kaluhamini said, "Son, my dear, my dear daughter Kaluvetana also is a other world." Ha, ha, haven't you met her? Haven't you met her? Oh, uh, oh, Kaluvetana, Kaluvetana, oh, Kaluvetana, she was, uh, she was, she, she is so beautiful. I, I have met her. Is she your daughter? The beggar said, yes, she is my daughter. Uh, Kaluhamine replied. After that, the beggar said, Kalgamahamini, your daughter is so beautiful. And she told me and she told me to visit her parents. Now I am so happy as I have as I have met her mother. And your daughter me and your daughter told me uh, told me to bring her all uh, drink her all own, own things. After that, after, uh, about two minutes later, Kaluhamini said, Okay, son, wait, wait. After that, she went into home. And about 10 minutes, about 10 minutes later, Kaluhamini, Kaluhamini came back to outside with a big bag full of money, jewelry, uh, foods, Foot and so on. Uh, about uh, after after a week, after a minute, uh, the beggar got the bag and he went got the bag and he went away. About five minutes later, Gamarala came back home, and he saw his wife is happy. And he asked, Kaluhamini, are you happy? What is the matter? Kaluhamini told to told to his wife all the story. At that moment, Gamarala said, "Oh, oh, stupid woman! You have been cheated. You have been cheated. Where is that beggar now?" Kaluhamini replied, "He went. He went towards the jungle." 
at that moment at, at that time gamaral started to uh, gamaral started to chase started to chase the beggar uh, by going on his uh, on the back of his own horse the beggar ran so fast and gamaral uh, gamaral chased him about 10 minutes later the beggar stopped and he climbed up to a tree and uh, he climbed up climbed up to a tree gamaral also stopped and he also climbed up to that tree all of us uh, uh, all of a sudden the beggar jumped down from the tree and he started to go away on the back of gamaral's horse gamaral was so sad about it and he thought what i am going to tell to my wife about about the horse hmm oh i have and i have a great idea about uh, two hours later gamarala came back home and he told his and he told his wife that he he gave his own horse to the beggar to give her daughter kalu hamine was so happy about it and kalu hamine didn't try again gamarala and kalu hamine lived happily ever after